Ooh, it is hot today. It's so hot. It's so hot, guys. Like, it feels like a bajillion and one degrees. I'm sweating my ass off. But yeah, I thought I'd film today for you guys today. Like, just a simple, like, eye look. I'll make sure to link above my foundation routine that I just did. This is the oily skin one that I did a couple weeks ago. It's been, like, my ride or die through summer. Because it's just been really hot lately. And it just stops me from, like, just sweating it all off. You know what I mean, hun? So, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the eye look. I'm going to just quickly zoom you in. Mm -hmm. So, I'm thinking of doing, like, more just, like, simple on the top and actually making it, like, interesting along the bottom lash line. I haven't done, like, a pop of colour along the back bath line. The lash line in a while. So, I'm thinking those are the lines that I'm, like, travelling along today. But... Yeah, we'll see how we go. So I've already primed my lids with some concealer and then just like loosely set it with some powder, like just translucent powder. So you guys can do the same and then we're ready for the next step. So I'm actually going to do like something different. I'm going to start with the brow bone and actually work down. Not that there's like a heap of steps onto the top light, like lid area, but still. So I'm going to grab my Aspen Ovard palette, um... And just grab the shade, that like matte creamy white shade called Married Life. And I'm just going to basically place Married Life along the brow bone area. And I'm just like packing it on like you can see all right there. Um, and it's just going to be like a subtle highlight to the brow. I don't want anything shimmery just because I have a few stray hairs. And I haven't done like a matte brow like highlight in a while. So it's, <laughs> it's good to go back. So, like you can tell, I've just highlighted the brow. And I'm like feeling these cool tone kind of colours in the Aspen Over palette. So I'm actually going to mix Santorini Sands with High School Sweetheart. And just place that through the crease just lightly. This is going to be like the most simple eye look ever. So like, I feel like any beginner could do this. So I'm just basically just applying some of those two shades through the crease. I kind of want it to be a little bit more cool tone, I think. Like, looking at it, I think I might even grab some, like, contour powder and place that in in a second. Just because I do want it to be a smidge more, like, on the grey side. But, I mean, you guys can keep it warm tone, like, warmer toned if you'd like. Each to their own. So I feel like like placing down the brow bone highlight first and then you know continuing down that gradient is just so much easier and it looks a lot more seamless rather than having that stark highlight just sitting, sitting on top of everything else and it like not being blended through properly so like just recently I really enjoyed doing a bit of like the brow bones and the crease and the eyelid and all that jazz. So I do want it to be a little bit more like grey. Like I said, so I'm going to grab my breakup powder from Makeup Geek. It's their contour powder, but I'm just going to use it as like a eyeshadow today. So I'm just using the same brush and applying that right just kind of below this um, High School Sweetheart and Santorini Sands shades, just to give a bit more depth to the eye. Mmm. Yes, I do really like that. Ooh. Yes. That's what I needed. Oh, that looks so good. So I went to the like beautiful waterfall, like little waterhole place yesterday. Um, just down near like Kaima and Wollongong. It's a couple hour drive from where I live, but oh, the waterfall is so beautiful. Um, it's all natural and it's just down along that area and it's just so, it's so stunning. There was barely anybody there. It was really really beautiful which is nice to like lie out in nature for the day and just swim it was like 30 degrees so it was a really warm day perfect temperature it was so nice are you guys like really outdoorsy people like if you had to prefer like one thing would you prefer to be like an outside person or like are you more of like an inside person you know each of the run like I think it's perfect either way like you guys what makes you happy is important for me, like, I just love being outside. Like, that's just my element. If I could live as, like, a nomad, like, camping and stuff, like, one of those Amazonian people, oh, that would be cool. That would be awesome. 
So I've just got it kind of washed through the crease just lightly like you can see here. And then I'm just going to place, I think I'm just going to place like a matte shade on the lid. I don't want anything too eye-catching. I don't know. I don't know. I'm actually going to take like just Santorini Sands, like this matte kind of similar tone to my eyelid. I just don't want anything too crazy, but I kind of like to give a bit of shape to the eye again, like carve out the like natural crease, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to take that and place that just lightly all over the lid. And I'm just taking some of that breakup shade again and just bringing that on the outer corner and through the outer crease. Just a little bit, like just a smidgen. And I'm using it on a petite crease brush as well, just because I wanted it to like get in there. Mm. Yes, that's nice. Ooh, yes. Now that's basically the eyeshadow for the lid done. That's all I really want to do. I told you it's like super simple. So I'm just going to do like your casual winged liner. This is optional if you guys aren't confident with winged liners. Then you don't have to do it, but I'm going to do it. So I'm just taking my Hyper Sharp um, liquid liner from Maybelline and just doing your everyday wing. Mm, that was crisp. That was a good day. It's a good wing liner day. So I'm just going to quickly place a black eye coal in my tight line just before I apply my lashes just because I find it easier to do it beforehand rather than after. And I just applied it to my tight line. I didn't want to apply it to my waterline. I just use it to help disguise my skin colour in with the, mat, like through the eyeliner so that those lashes mesh in more seamlessly. So I'm now going to apply my lashes off camera real quick and I'll be right back. So the lashes I went in with today are the Attitude ones in the style Sultry. So they're shorter on the inner corner, longer on the outer corner. So they complement that cat eye we've got going. So next I'm going to move on and do the bottom waterline lash line area. And this is where we add all the colour and all the exciting bits. So first of all I'm going to go in with my eye coal in the shade Ocean Green and place that over the waterline area. And also drag that down a little bit under the lash line on the outer corner. And then I'm going to go over that eye coal with some of the Pool Party shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And like I said, I'm just going to run that along the eye coal here as well towards the inner corner. And then taking Wisteria from Makeup Geek, this like mauvey purple shade, I'm just going to blend out the edges of Pool Party. And then I took some of Black Light from Makeup Geek and ran that along the very outer corner where um, Pool Party meets Wisteria. And then just lightly bringing a bit more of Pool Party back. And then I went and took some of um, Faint from the Jaclyn Hill palette and mixed it with Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and applied that to my inner corners. And then lastly for the eyes, I just chucked on some mascara on my bottom lashes. And that's the eyes completed. I'm so happy with how they turned out. It's just something simple with a bit of pop of colour. Like it just jazzes it up just a smidgen. So it's so wearable if you guys are more into like the neutral look. Like you aren't a big fan of colour. It's just a bit something soft like just on the bottom lash line. And then like neutral on the top. So yeah. So moving on with the lips. I'm going to keep it nude today. Like I'm keeping it pretty simple. So I'm just going to take my classic combos. Um, I'm just going to go in with my... Makeup Geek Brown Eye Coal to line my lips. I'm then going to go in with my Clear Message lip, Liquid Lipstick from Zoeva. And then, do I want to do a gloss? Maybe. And then for like the centre of the lips, I'm just going to place on some of my undressed lip gloss from Dose of Colours. And this concludes today's makeup look, you guys. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look, got a few tips, got a few tricks from it. Make sure to leave comments down below of what you would like to see in my next upcoming tutorials or videos. If you want any like talk throughs, any product reviews, any like makeup looks that you really want me to try and like 
recreate for you so you know how to do it just leave it down below for me otherwise i hope you have an amazing day i love you all so so much thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye